to manage unrighteousness. They learn how to get by with little or not enough. Many of them had learned that in Egypt. And so they went back to being satisfied. And yet Jer and the guy had to go back to the loins of Hilkiah and the womb of his wife and fashion a person in the womb. Anoint and upon him, you will proclaim what I want you to do. And you will do it the way I want it done. Thus says the Lord. Of course, you know, Jeremiah didn't want to do it. He said, if I don't do it, it's like fire burning in my bones. So, and just like God chose Jeremiah's parents, God chose your parents and, and my parents and placed for them the desire and the promise for such a time as this. They would pass on. But the promise and the anointing would live on through you and through me. We are still in the call. God is still expecting great things. In chapter 8 of Jeremiah, Jeremiah calls the message careless treatment because the people are being told that everything is all right when everything is really all wrong. So Jeremiah has, has challenged that. We, that for such a time in which we live, we could say the same thing. But there is a great deficiency in compassion. The thought or the idea of wealth distribution has come repulsive to the wealth. <clears throat> the possibility of sharing power terrifies those who are in power to the extent they are willing to do anything yeah. to compromise even the possibility of sharing power. Our call is to declare this is the year of the Lord's favor. This is the time that we continue to work by the pray to begin to turn things around. Now the Call identifies who you are. It sets you apart and, and prepares you. And then the commission comes with the assignment and the authority. Whatever you have been assigned to do, you have been given authority and a mandate to excel and succeed in all that you do. Right where you are. In Jeremiah 29, Four through six is a letter to the exiles of Babylon from the Lord of hosts. Thus says the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, to the exiles I have sent into Babylon. You are to succeed and excel in every way right where you are in Babylon. Build houses and live in them. Plant gardens and eat what they produce. Marry and have children and encourage your sons and daughters to marry and have children. I want you to increase and excel on every level right where you are. Not when you get back to Jerusalem. But you're going to be there for a while. But right where you are. And so where God has planted us, God expects us to prosper in your homes, on your jobs, in the areas wherever you have influence, in the church, in the church. Whatever God has assigned us to do, God has given us the method to receive it as a commission to do it well and to accept it. 